All right, welcome back to Fast Gadgets. Today I'd like to look at the different desktop environments that are available and I've chosen four that I'm going to install and what I'd like to do is test each environment and see which one consumes the most processor time, uh, which one is consuming the most memory while it's in use, and we're going to basically look at those four plus uh, we'll compare it to the command line interface. Um, right now I have uh, KDE Plasma installed and I have uh, GNOME installed. And what I'm doing right now is installing um, XFCE, Cinnamon, and well those are all I need so I only need to install those two so now I'm doing Cinnamon and the install is going very well. Um, I'm really glad how fast things go with the installer uh, when using DNF. It does help to have a fast internet connection of course. So once we get these two te uh, installed what I'm going to do is I will log off each one and log back on to each desktop environment. Now um, just so you know I will be doing um, screen capturing so there will be some FFmpeg rendering going on in the background and according to my test um, the FFmpeg rendering takes up about 500 megabytes of additional memory and somewhere between 30 to 40 percent of the processing so when we're evaluating um, CPU idle time that's available it will include the FFmpeg rendering that's going on at the same time but we'll get a good indicator of which of the desktop environments actually handles it better. So before I start with the desktop environments the thing that I'd like to do is find out the command line interface only which is used to be called run level 3 of course it's not anymore but I can still use um, some of those commands that are available and it's just easier to type this command out than the systemctl commands. So I'm going to run init space 3 and this will send me to command line interface only, no graphical interface, no x11, no Wayland, nothing. And you can see that we are about 99% idle and we're actually consuming less than 200 megabytes right now so yes you can do a lot less um, but it's amazing all the different things you can actually do in the CLI and I am going to have a episode keep out an eye out for it of my top five favorite uh, text only applications and some of the amazing things that you can do with it uh, but definitely um, the memory footprint and the processing is much lower. Now if we were running FFmpeg, which we can do on the command line, it would uh, the idle time would definitely be different. So, so here we are in the KDE interface and I wasn't really liking the way System Monitor was reporting things. It's telling me 2.2 gigabytes so I decided to use TOP as well. Uh, I just felt more confident with TOP. Um, you can see that we, while we're doing the screen capturing, we're looking at about 48% idle time, um, which isn't too bad. It's a i7 four core, well, two core, four thread processor I'm running, uh, and memory consumption is roughly 1.6 gigabytes. So keep in mind that uh, I'm not dividing by uh, 1024, so I'm I'm just doing some uh, rough math in my head really quick on this uh, because top displays everything in kilobytes and then I'm just kinda factoring it down into gigabytes. Um, so now we're here in the uh, cinnamon interface and we're seeing 49 48 percent idle time um, at one point it jumps up to about 58 percent idle time which was really quite good and in XFCE 
and I do apologize for how small everything is. I haven't set up the scaling for XFCE yet, so um, you can't read these, but I can tell you XFCE's idle time was about 49.7%, and uh, memory consumption was at about 1.4 gigabytes. Um, once again, system monitor confused me because it was actually reporting 2.9 gigabytes, so I can't really say what system monitor is recording. It just seems unusually high, so when we do our final results, we're going to look at top instead, and we'll use top to make those uh, guesstimates. And finally, KDE, which is the desktop environment I've been using the most um, and seems to do very well for me. Um, Memory wise with KDE, uh, I was looking at about 1.6 gigabytes in use and 48.3% idle time, which was very good. Um, system monitor reported 2.2 gigabytes, so not, not too bad. Now here was a strange thing. When I ran GNOME, look what it reported. 3.8 gigabytes in system monitor, but if you look at top, um, it's reporting um, idle times between 40 to 48 percent. Memory consumption was about 1.7 and I did round up. All right, let's have a look at the final results here for our desktop environment testing. Uh, XFCE came in with the uh, lowest memory consumption of 1.4 gigabytes when looking at the um, top utility. Um, system monitor I had some unusual results from you can see with uh, GNOME it actually was reporting 3.8 gigabytes so as I mentioned before at the beginning of the video I'm definitely using uh, top as my memory consumption um, to go by uh, KDE did very well at 1.6 gigabytes uh, cinnamon actually averaged out best at 53.3 percent for CPU idle time so if you're more concerned about CPU idle time um, and a desktop environment that's better at managing the CPU cinnamon might be a good one to try for you uh, do keep in mind that these idle times included the um, FFmpeg rendering that was taking place when I was doing my screen capture um, so you have to take that into account and it really was around about 40 percent um, with the command line interface only I was at 99.8 percent idle time but that does not include an FFmpeg render um, and when I actually tested KDE with no screen capturing taking place I did get an idle time of 98 percent so my suspicion is uh, most of these desktop environments here that are running on X11 are going to be very similar in idle time without any type of rendering taking place. What the idle time with rendering tells me is that Cinnamon probably does a somewhat better job of handling management of uh, CPU resources with the various applications. If you're concerned about memory, uh, XFC is definitely the superior uh, desktop interface it actually does a pretty good job of having a very small footprint so that's something to consider I hope you enjoyed the video if you did like and subscribe and I will see you next time